The little boy, almost killed by a suspected drunk driver over the weekend, is still on a respirator. But a local business is throwing a lifeline to little Vicente Griego and his family. News 13's Diana Salceda has a story. There's a new sound at Bob's Burgers on 4th Street in the North Valley. Coins and dollar bills are starting to fill jars there. The donations are for two year old Vicente Griego. Vicente is still on a respirator after he was severely injured in a drunk driving crash over the weekend on Coors near I 40. Employees at Bob's have close ties to the little boy's father, John Griego, who works there. It's heartbroken. I mean, tears came to my eyes. I was just devastated. The little baby shouldn't have to deal with that. It's really shocked, really hurts. A terrible thing to hear. He's a good friend of mine, so. It's just too bad. Employees at Bob's decided they wanted to help Vicente's family, so the jars will be put up at all seven locations, and flyers will be placed in all the drive-up windows. We all consider ourselves as family. Um, when things happen like this, it does has it does have an effect on all of us. John's worked here full time for about a year, and aside from raising funds for his family, Bob's Burgers is making another important promise. John will remain. To have his job for as long as necessary, you know, with his baby and all. And, um, you know, whenever he's ready to come back, we'll totally support this time for him and we'll all be praying for his family. When this first happened, I felt alone, like I didn't have anybody. And, you know, when then you realize you have all these people that come together and they show you that they love you and they care about you, it's a pretty good feeling, you know. Little Vicente's condition has improved today. He's now in satisfactory condition, but he could have permanent brain damage. His father says his co-workers' prayers have truly helped him and his son through this tragedy, and their efforts to help raise funds give him great hope for his family's future. Diana Sauceta, KRQE News 13. The suspected drunk driver who rear-ended the Griego's car is out on bond. Mariano Salas is charged with aggravated DWI, great bodily harm by vehicle, and leaving the scene of an accident.